Oh, this was interesting. So uh, there's like a technology spin on this. Early, earlier today, Nicki Minaj was complaining about her song on Apple Music. And she wasn't complaining about what you might think. She was complaining about the mix. Oh, wow. And I didn't take her as someone who was critically into the mix. Well, what's interesting, what I like about this is that now that we're on all these platforms, and I don't know, maybe there's another story that goes in this direction too, but we're on all these platforms and it's often some type of guesswork Oh, into how is this going to sound over here? Oh man, you know. Over you there, what type of processing right? happens yeah. on this streaming service versus the downloaded version? I mean, we goof around with this show and well you've mastered tracks before audio levels and then stats for nerds oh, yeah. and then uh yeah it's just you kind of don't know what you're going to get on the other end all the time and it can be frustrating Never. Well, it happens to even the biggest artists like Nicki minaj yeah it's there's something so relatable about that for oh, me totally who post stuff online she said this morning the explicit version of bussin which is the new song that went out is wrong on apple music the downloadable iTunes link sounds right, but the streaming link is wrong on Apple Music. Only the clean version is right. Oh. Engineer said it's right on Spotify and Tidal. Please check right now. Oh, she's like employing her audience to confirm. Yeah, and she's also yelling at Apple. Like, yeah. get it together. I don't know which version or revision you're currently playing back. Yeah. Uh, but it's kind of cool to see that even at that level, people are struggling with the same things to get the right and so it must have been obvious, the difference in this mix. And, oh, here we go. The Dolby Atmos version on Apple Music sounds okay. It's the explicit lossless audio track that sounds... Hmm. That even goes a level deeper because like, you have multiple versions available for oh. streaming per track. You could hmm. be like, okay, the explicit version lossless, explicit explicit version Dolby Atmos, yeah, regular, whatever else. Um. Oh man, that must be so hard to publish a track for all these different streaming services. I know you published the tracks that were even Lou later. You're listening in the car, you're listening on headphones. Well, that's such a trying to get the best the, of every In the world. old days when I used to make music, I would actually take a mix and then listen to it in all these different yeah. spaces yeah. just to hear how it sounded in different environments. Mine was always car. If my track sounded good in the car, then I was okay with it. Yeah, I mean, well, that's primarily where people listen to music, but he right. you have headphones as well, and then you have outside as well. Oh, yeah. Outside is less so, but people do Man, sometimes listen to music outside. I guess now you have ANC. You got to take ANC into consideration. Yes, though. yes, and then never mind. You got to take, like, spatial, oh, possibly, oh. or uh, in this case, Dolby, Dolby. or, or uh, Lossless Oof. and whatever else. But anyway, I just want, I want to give some good news on this front. Uh, it's been fixed. Whatever okay, the problem, good. whatever the problem was, she is Nicki Minaj and it has been fixed. And now the right version is playing for the explicit, which is of course the one you want yeah. on Apple music.